Book, 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 book. Where the real art beat style is. Book, 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 book. The, the, the bass drum drop in between. Boom. Vibration is something where you feel it. It is vibration when it comes to the music. The vibration, you hear it, and then it creates within you your own emotions. Everything is, is formulated from your inner self, you know. The heartbeat is the first vibration, the first musical instrument you're introduced to yourself. <clears throat> you see, it? it keeps you alive before you even knowing it, being aware what it does. <laughs> you just know that it's there. I said, wow, something's beating. You're used to that biological drum. You hear the mother heartbeat and their heartbeat. Double heartbeat. Can you believe that? That's a symphony. My first love was my mother and then football. <laughs> it's an expression, you know? It's an expression. Playing football is an expression of yourself. How you move, how you, what you do with the ball, how you play the game. I feel like music and football, the music, go with the football, the rhythm, the, the rhythm of the game and the rhythm of music. Started out crying, it have to bust out of my like river. International pop music scene has catapulted Bob Marley to superstardom. So you can love my music, if you love reality, you know. I said many shall be called, but only few chosen. The only law, which is law, is the law of life. And only the fittest and the fittest shall survive. Lifestyle, football every day, football and music. I now see you too. He's a soldier, he's like he was on a mission. Jam it till the jam is the rhythm of the game and the rhythm of music. Holy Mount Zion, holy Mount Zion. Just seated in Mount Zion, it rules all creation. My grandfather is a man that came from a small village in the mountains, then moved to the ghettos. We were an abandoned community. It was a marker around trench on a red marker, a forbidden community. So, for a long time, things were kind of lean. Well, yes, things was kind of lean as kind. It leads to what is your expectation and how do you know? To me, it was, it was lean, but I could understand it because coming from a country where you learn to do things like you don't learn to depend on family and all of that, you know? You go out and you plant your own corn and you watch corn grow. We can't grow. You pick your own car, you know what I mean? Yeah. All of them from spanning tree. We can't get them, you know? So. It's a little different though in town. Yeah. <laughs> you know, gotta do different things to eat, eh? <laughs> well, when I was growing up as a kid, it was in the streets. Now we used to play games in the streets. We grew up on the coal mine in Indian forest. Never and then after that, we grew up on the Italian spaghetti movie. The man them take on those characters. Your yeah, man take on James Bond, man take on the flute. But it's the James Bond, that man, you know, he move cool. You see, like how the James Bond, yeah, man, slick. And when a man take on the ninja, you know, you know, say, he's a rough man, Capone. When a man say Capone, you know, say, oh, I know something to mess with. You see, name? 
name are very important, you know, so you have one character. You know what is a gang? That thing when you, when you eat your bum. It has to be a tough instrument for you. It takes some hard licks. So that's why I tell about Bob now, what he says to us, rough, him rough, rough gang. From rough gang to tough gang. Yes, that was Bob. I mean, if you can't come up, come, come deal with something right and just set your brethren. This is what I want to do and make life be nice. The figure say you must be a hypocrite and start fighting. Start fighting. You can't slow and meditate after what the fighting needs for and make a song of it. You have to shoot out the sheriff. Rebel. In Jamaica, football is a sport of the people, really. That town where you live, Trench Town, is called Boys Town. They had like one of the most notorious teams. That neighborhood, like a very good team, but very like, don't mess with that team, you know? So you grew up around footballers. So you learn to tough, you drop one, you get up back and you crush off and you go again. Your foot kick away if you don't know where you are, so you have to be skillful to stand on your feet. I'm lick you hard. <laughs> so, really, that's why I get him name rough, tough gang. But this was rough gang. Time rough, him play rough. The fitness to him, I'm always a move like light beam. You understand me? I said, why him did have something special? Trust me. We are around to get to another thing here, come on. When it comes down to football, it's like your family almost comes second. And you don't really understand why. There's something about the revolving of the ball. There's something about the camaraderie that this, this game creates for you. A safe space outside of your home space, outside of your workspace. Like particles bouncing, 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 hitting each other. As they hit each other, something is created right there. You may not see it and you may see it. Huh? So we're playing with forces that we don't really understand. So this music is embedded in the pores and the genes and the spirit. Everyone can feel it. See beyond the lights and see the nature and see what is real and what we're here for. How oh, something can be so simple, be so great. I escaped from everything else, you know? Yeah, because I have some fish pots in the water where I set down fruits inside of it. The scent gets very strong and it attracts the fish. They will try to get inside of the pot, which is a trap. So once they enter the funnel, they don't have any knowledge of going back through the funnel because they look down, they don't look up. So they will swimming around and they get trapped inside of it. You know, you have to struggle so hard to survive. What am I? Who am I? Where am I from? What am I doing? You know, these are certain things you put it forward to the people.
There's so much placed in front of us to distract us from our true self, to distract us from that unity, from that oneness, from our spirituality. So it's, it's, it's definitely important that we keep that fire burning. You know, it's, it's important that that fire don't out. If you even have a bad day or you're stressing over something or you have something on your mind, at least for the time that you're on the ball field, playing ball, you release all of that and you really just kind of focus on the game. You know, so in that kind of way, it's, it's freedom, you know? You know, you must struggle and stand up by yourself and make it work. You don't bow. You hear me? Babo's a, a spiritualist. I'm conquer through the things him do. You can't get through that. You, you have to be mind strong. Football players, you know, soccer players are some of the fittest athletes around. That was a part of it, being fit. Life is about physicality, you know. You know, only the fittest are the fittest shall survive. You know, you hear stories about my old man, and it's always about, um, you know, a lot of stories about how disciplined he was in work. Hard working, football was a life. Just like the music was his life, football was his life, too. Not only playing the sport, but preparing for the sport. Going running, running on the beach. That was a regular routine. Build up the, the leg strength, your back strength, abdominal strength. Everything was a good footballer needed. He trained that way. He didn't train like a footballer. Quick shooter can shoot, you know? A good shooter. So he was a solid, I would have said a solid midfielder, you know? Scorer, playmaker. Everything, hustling. That was old name in New Zealand. He was given the usual traditional welcome. Packing Toronto's Maple Leaf Garden. It's a sign of reggae's growing acceptance in the international pop music scene. But I was at war with the people. So I didn't need to be fighting no more. So I'm going to England. The final tagline. When we're in England, it was studio ball, studio ball. We got football match together and them kind of thing. And Bobby's a man, he never sit in grandstand yet. We sit in the bleachers with the people. Football, big in England. Where we live was a place called Chelsea. You know, you have a Chelsea football team. But we never really cheer for Chelsea anyway. And then across the street, about mm, less than half a mile down from where we live on Oaks Street, over the bridge, was Battersea Park. And there was one game that Adrian Booth took a lot of pictures of, is when we played against Island Records staff. The Island Records staff team challenged Bob Marley and his ad hoc people from all over the place. So, you know, Bob is a man, he, he do everything hard and he nothing to know, lose it. And of course, Bob Marley's team walked all over the island records team. And beat them up very badly. He always had the ball. The ball was very rarely in the hands of anybody else. And plus, we were always very physically fit. Yeah, man. So, living in England was quite exciting. A lot of games played in England, pick up games. Really, they try with a, a band, but with a football team also. So they could play anywhere they go. I tell the story about the money ball. Mm -hmm. Money ball. Money ball is a ball we play in the hotel. So we juggle it. And right name money ball is if you break anything, you have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Everywhere he went, you had to find a game. Somewhere, either he goes to one or he plays one. Without any doubt, from I'm a little child, Jamaica cheers for Brazil.
You know, the music, the culture, the food, the women. <laughs> kind of feel like a little bit of Jamaica. And I think that was what just made him just love that country. Yeah, he loved to wear his Brazilian jersey. Yeah, and he really looked good in it. You know, the other day I even met Ronaldinho. I ran into him on the beach in Miami. Yeah, I mean, just like that, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so that was huge for me and my cousins as well. Cause that, that man's a legend, you know. We look up to him, you know. We used to always try and mimic him, you know. Well, well, you know the, you know the, the dance called samba. Yeah, well, that's how you describe Brazilian football. It's samba football. They have a lot of flair. They keep possession of the ball and they push the round. They have a lot of tricks. And so it's a, the Brazil is a more kind of free-flowing. I say the best way to describe it is it's samba football. And with music, you know, samba. Repatriation comes from our unity. When time we unify ourselves, then we can repatriate our people in style. We are from the motherland. We were brought here as slaves. Everything comes from Africa, so the African drumming is the first thing. Before you even start listening to what the words are saying, you feel the vibration of the drumming, of the music. Without the Naya Bingi drum, it's not really reggae, it's something different. The reggae now come with the one drop. That's the heart of it. The one drop is... Sometimes I might be walking and I'm realizing I'm on a rhythm like... My foot is going like this. That's my... My foot is like that. It's a rhythm. It's... it's Football is a thing that... I don't know. It's, it's, it, it speaks to me. It's like music. It's like dancing. So there's a rhythm, there's a beat. We dance. So sometimes when you're on the field, it's dancing the same way because it's this. I give them the crazy legs and shift and come around, you know? Reggae music played properly is just an extension of like, the instrument dances with the body. So unless the musicians are dancing, you can't play reggae. So six people or 12 people playing on stage is like 12 people dancing together. If, any, if anybody plays all the time, the whole thing flops, you know? Most of the games we played was at Hope Road, home, you know, his home. We, we call it scrimmage, you know, pick up game with scrimmage. People from all over. Yes, got people there, there's some people there, there's everybody. Hey, pass the ball, man, pass the ball. But tell the truth, we like play everywhere. Anywhere it is possible, you know. You know, we just pick, Bob, them just put together a team and start playing some scrimmage. We are playing a scrimmage and this was 77, so we is nine or something. Mm. And him kick a ball hard and it licked Ziggy and Ziggy start to cry. So, you know, me feel that way and say. <laughs> For us as his children, it wasn't like a lovey-dovey daddy. Or, you know, a daddy who would, oh, be careful, son. He <laughs> <laughs> was a rough man. He was rough, you know, rough, rough, rough. We were always, like, active. You know, like, we're on the beach, we're running, we're racing each other. It was always about racing to see who could beat him. I mean, there was no let up in him. There was no like, it's, it's children. Let me run slow. <laughs> the fastest he could run against us. <laughs> it was an everyday thing. It was a lifestyle. Football every day. Football and music. Set the 
Mali had an accident playing football and badly damaged his toe. The doctor who examined him discovered he was suffering the early stages of cancer. Despite the disease, he continued to appear on stage over the next two years. Bob don't need to write any more song. Him don't leave out anything. You know what I mean? Him done say everything already. Him work was over. On your way up, take me up. On your way down, don't let me down. And there was this great, huge thunder in the heavens and the flash of lightning that came through the house. You know, everybody could see it, but it came through my house, it came through the window and lodged for about a second on Bob's picture, you know. And people could know that something had happened and like the heavens was really responding, you know, to like a great force being taken away from the physical plane of the earth. But nobody knew until they heard the news that, you know, Bob had passed. Yeah. You know, you know when it's time to go. Because everyone feels it. Yeah. You know, 36 is just one tenth of a circle. So we don't know what part in play, but we don't play a major part in the circle. Cycle of life, just 360 degrees. This may be the first trumpet. Might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. You know, um, you know I lost my father when I was very young. And it, it, it's something that still consumes me to this day. You know, I have a football team now down in Falmouth. We're currently in the Confed, making our way to the Premier League, hopefully at the end of this season. So it's something that I use now to try to help youths out of particular situations. You know, I use that football as a method to, to take some children off the street and put them in a safe environment and hopefully you know, teach them some life skills along the way because um, team sports does that, you know. Team sport is a great place to, 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 to foster your life skills, you know, to you know how to work together and accomplish things as, as, as a unit. Singing, don't worry. So I used to play on my elementary um, school football team. And one day they had parents against. And surprisingly, he showed up to play as one of the parents. The parents against the kids, you know, the team. We follow the same tradition 
We love it the same way. Rise up this morning. Just like on reggae music, you know, it, it don't matter where you are, it's an international language. Football is that same international language. It's more than a sport, you know, it's, it's about community. That's how I grew up to love football too. Just show him love football and we grew up playing football, watching football. And enjoying it together at the, at the stadium in Jamaica or in Zimbabwe. You know, you get to escape everything you've been dealing with. So when he said that, football is freedom, I was hooked. It's beautiful. Here in Kingston, the action these days isn't on the island's famous beaches, but on the grassy pitch. This summer, the national women's football team, or reggae girls, faces Brazil in the opening round of the World Cup. As the first Caribbean team to make the tournament, it hasn't been an easy journey. A decade ago, the team became inactive due to lack of funding. It took the daughter of icon Bob Marley to get the team back on track. They're women who are being told that they cannot play a sport that they love. And that wasn't, that wasn't cool. The women football in Jamaica is developing and obviously we qualifying for the World Cup does, does shows that we can just be good as any other country in the world. We're playing football, that's for sure. Jamaica have their first ever World Cup goal. My name is Taji Stevenson. It's my first year playing for the national team. Yeah, I'm really excited because it's been a while I want to represent my country. Jamaican colors are black, green, and gold. Black is for the black skin, green is for the trees, and the gold is for the sun. You know what? They, they deserve to be there. They worked really hard, and they beat the odds. Every day you wake up and... You just think of what would dad do, what would make him happy. It's just something that, as a firstborn, is, it's my duty. It's not a job, it's my duty. It's like the wind that blows. You know from whence it come and where it going. So the master of it, of, of us all, is, is time. Time is the master of everything. <laughs> you understand? The world is so beautiful. So time is very, it's, it is the essence of how our creative forces on earth and how we balance our behavior, how we balance our contribution, how we do everything. We have no time and yet we have time. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. So that time is God, the master. So God is the master. God is the time. Yeah, generation to generation to generation. Abraham did to him, son and Isaac and, and Jacob and them grandfather or them great grandfather or them great great grandfather with his name Bob Marley was a, a man who believed in God. You have 
We have the word seed. Like we made that talk a while ago. That, that is a seed. Seed of the word. Yes, as a farmer, you put it in on the ground and you hope so you go. That is the crop. You know where Bob being on the field is like him being who him is. He's not on stage, he's not for perform for nobody. He can't free for us. Play ball. You know, so if you really want to know him, that's a good experience to have with him. To really know the man, not the performer, not the legend, but the footballer, Bob. A different, a different energy. It must have felt good, you know what I'm saying? It must have felt good for him to do it and love it that much. Yeah. Them people don't understand. Unity means strength, man. Unity is a rash thing, you know. Unity means strength. The importance of vibration, it, it, it's a part of your liberty. All the particles that shows that we exist in that skin, bone, and flesh. There are vibrations going on right now to keep you talking, smiling, and everything. Life is about vibration. The effect about vibration. You know, cause and effect. So you're a vibrative effect of something greater, a greater vibration. So everything is a vibration. The creative force is vibration. Some call it God, some call it this, some call it that. So right now it's vibration between me and you, communicating what you felt by the story I just told you. You know, that's vibration. We are all connected. Everything and everyone connected. Bam! One sphere, one ball, one globe. Top Gang is a sound. Sound, sound. See, yeah, that mean Top Gang. It's a sound. It could be boom. It could have ring forever. 